Okay guys, um, just a, just real talk, so no fancy editing. Um, I've, I don't know, but how, how am I going to start? <laughs> anyway, um, gusto ko lang i-share na um, yeah, don't know where to start. Uh, I've been searching online na kung ano yung gusto kong gawin at the moment is usually um, a bit parang lost din about what am I going to do on the next step of this of my life Ayan. so I just want to share this to you guys if you feel that we're in the same uh, same table right now sabi lang yun is um, oh, just a quick background to share with you guys uh, I'm an OFW here in Singapore and I've been working here since 2011 and a lot of people siguro tatangin bakit hindi ka pa dyan PR <laughs> that's another video uh, anyway um, to improve chances then uh, to get that uh, PR thing is I did study here part time so I finished a uh, master's degree in business admin. Now this is not to brag; it's just to inspire people. Na you can do it, even if you are working overseas. Na your main goal, because na lumi umalis ka ng Pinas, is to work and to send money back home. You can still do save up a bit for yourself to improve your way of life. When na when uh, uh, nasa ibang bansa ka na so <clears throat> long story short i finished that then um the study was about 2 years uh, after that i the graduation ano siya um nung last may so now is um august or august so medyo stagnant tayo within those few months so trying to look up for something that I can do like I can learn while waiting for my PR application or while looking for an other opportunities dito so started searching online um, YouTube then started checking also yung uh, indie.com for jobs so actually I'm curious lang is to is I'm curious about coding so I search online and bang pinaka most recommended na language to to study. And well sabi nila is Python daw, Python. So I did study Python. I'm, st I'm still studying now. And just to share with you guys na yun nga eh I'm a bit lost then kasi I don't have a coding uh, computer science degree. And I'm okay with math, not not really good, but I'm okay. I can understand the fundamentals, but it would take a long time for me to really apply your know, application. So may very long learning curve ako dun in terms of math, and yun nga kailangan mo rin ng at least good math in breaking into let's say if I want to break into computer science uh jobs, right. Uh, business analytics, uh, web development, front end, back end development, yung mga ganun. <coughs> Sorry, so, uh, so, yun yung introduction. And um, basically, if you're someone who's trying to learn something new, I'm, I'm, I'm around 30 plus years old already. So, medyo may edad na tayo dyan. It's not, it's never too late to, to study and to learn. So, I'm learning online, it's free. Um, well, like invest ho in a bit of like so Udemy Udemy course. It's like I think five hundred pesos, mm -hmm. five hundred pesos for the course. It's a um, from zero to hero Python course, which is okay. I learned the basics, but now nagstop ako don kasi may milestone siya na project, which is a uh, tic tac toe on Python. I check online as well, yung mga suggestions ng mga gurus. 
na computer science <laughs> experts or uh, mga programmers online na try to put it into practice yun yung malalaman mo so now I'm trying to study Python and Pygame and yun nga, I'm, I'm coding uh, just copy paste it's more like copy pasting really the code for Snake Snake on Pygame now this is from another YouTube um, YouTube tutorial from um, from Tim Tim yung I don't know, maybe he's around 20 years old only, pero napakagaling mag-code. So, tin tinuturo niya is um, paano mag-code uh, on Pygame, yung snake, snake on Pygame. So, now it's like initial, I'm on the second vid, it's four, vid, four videos only, very short video. Uh, so, my approach is this, um, I'll copy-paste, basically it's copy-paste because I... Uh, beginner lang tayo sa Python. So, basically, copy-pasting all the codes and from there, try to understand what does the line of code mean. And so, maybe yung color, pwede kong palitan and try to see how it affects the game or maybe some variables there uh, or numbers that I can change just to see how, how would the game react or yung snake, or will it still work properly? And so, try to modify it that, that way uh, you can learn something from that because kung kinapi paste mo lang siya and just pass it as a, as one of your projects in your portfolio if you're trying to apply for a job uh, it won't usually work wherein I heard that um, for applications on uh, being a programmer I don't know maybe web dev or something basta may, ano siya, may code test sinasabi na so code, code testing is like bibigyan ka nila na ng problem and then you try to solve the problem using coding. Uh, they may ask, I'm not really sure about this, but they may ask you to code in JavaScript or maybe something that you are applying for, maybe let's say a Python developer. So using Python, how would you solve a problem? So ayun, that's just an update for you guys. Um, I know so a lot of people maybe online is going through the phase that I'm in, like studying Python, which is, to me, a bit easy. I mean, I mean the beginner stage is easy, of course, because um, my, uh, I was familiar with HT, HTML <laughs> and CSS before. I mean, I'm not an expert on those things, but I used it one time during a project uh, in web page creation. That was like three years ago. So, at least yung mga yung language coding styles um, is ingrained to me na yung kailangan mo nga ng ganitong uh, variable, ganitong uh, argument yan to make it work. And to make it work, you have to put um, something to activate the code. So, let's say for Python, is like um, if you create a dev, uh, define, def, let's see, def and uh, a function created a function at the bottom of the function maglalagay ka ng return uh, let's say return result or return the function so it will activate everything so yung mga ganun so yung familiar familiarization is nandun na so just an update with you guys um, if you're trying to study python um, my number one tip is once you study the basics ng python switch to a program create a project then uh, since you have the basic knowledge, hindi ka may mas masadong may hirap nito sa mga code na uh, paano paano yung aktibit tong code na to paano paano siya yung remain stagnant by using pa pas <laughs> p a s s dun sa I don't know what to call it pero yun sa pag when you're creating functions sa Python so all of those things will come into place like oh yung ma mabubuksan yung yung logical thinking mo in how to modify a game or uh, a program so that way you can learn faster um, um right now nasa second week ko in my python uh, studies so at the moment yun lang muna yun lang yung may to <laughs> share ko for the moment and i'm going to work now so 
basically that's it I'll, I'll try to post another video I'm not that consistent so yeah let's let's I'll try to I'll try my best to post another video to update you guys so if you have any uh, questions or more tips just lagay lang kayo dun sa my comments uh, thanks bye bye that's it